Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, and today we're gonna to be talking about another one of the forms in our form library that you can now purchase a la carte. Just click on it to download and purchase, or they do come unlimited standard with any of our VIP or concierge membership plans. These are strongly recommended for any dentist doing ortho, or really, if you're looking, even if you just do Invisalign or Clear Correct or Six Month Smiles or any of these things, you really need to have all these documents and these aren't things you're gonna get from any of those companies. These are ones that myself as an orthodontist, 19 years as a dentist, I've been collecting, refining, tweaking. Um, as always, any of our patient facing release consent documents should be run by your own in-house legal team. That's not, we're not attorneys, you know? Um, maybe mine have checked mine, but that's not, I'm not in your state, so you need to have yours check yours. And you can always, these are just templates, right? So make them beautiful, put your branding on them, put your name in them, make them your own, modify them as you see fit. This is just something to get you started. So the next one I'm gonna be talking about is the cavity clearance or cavity slash perio clearance. I think this is super duper critical. Um, I use those like crazy in my practice. Um, everybody had one, I don't care. If you're my patient, somebody else's patient. Somebody needs to take responsibility that this patient has no decay, this patient has no perio, and that they release the patient to go ahead and be treated. And this takes a lot of liability off you. I'm not saying if you see a cavity, you still should just be like, well, so-and-so said it wasn't. But, um, or if you suspect perio, you can, you're a dentist, you can bust out your perio probe and measure attachment on your own, you know? But, you know, when push comes to shove, this is now somebody else's say, they're making the call whether this patient is ready for um, treatment. And if you're a general or pediatric dentist and this is your own patient, it's still a good idea to have that release done, even if you are releasing it to be treated by yourself. And other dentists might ask for them too. But basically, it's pretty standard stuff. You know, you've done a screening, they look good. You know, they still need to come back regularly. This is the key thing. We recommend cleanings every six months. Um, orthodontic care does not substitute your regular dental needs. So please routinely check in with your regular dentist. So these are all things that a lot of times patients have this misunderstanding that they're gonna come see the orthodontist for 12 days. 18 to 24 months and they don't need to go back to their regular dentist during that time and that is not true so um also the other thing you might want to run by is you know if if you do do extractions i know for me this is a major one off at this point it maybe was more routine before but we don't necessarily want dentists routinely doing fillings on premolars because it might be something that you're occasionally going to extract. So it just kind of says, you know, check with us before you do that. But anyways, we're glad to share this document with you. If you have any questions, please visit straightsmilesolutions.com. As always, way more content that's free on gpwebinar.com, our YouTube channel, Straight Smile Solutions, as well as theorthowhisper.com. Um, hope to talk to you more soon. All right. Thanks so much.